So what is going on, everybody? I am here with a quick review of the Full Mass, Full Mass Bullseye Trimmer, limited edition, buff the barber on the front. Now, any negative that I have to say has nothing to do with the barber that's on the front of this box. That is actually one of my favorite barbers on Instagram. He's he's showed me a lot, so we're gonna pass that up, right? So, boom. You see Buff on the back. Quick little story of who he is. All right. So in the box, if I can get this open with one hand, boom, open, bam. In the box, right? Of course, you get your little papers, blah, blah. Charger. Little brush for the clippers. And the trimmers themselves. All right. Very small. Very lightweight great size for especially the designs i got a bigger hand right my hands are fat and meaty so they okay but for my hands they're kind of too small they're very light though if you like that now i will probably continue to use these maybe on designs or anything especially if my babyless uh gold fx's are dyed or you know something of that nature but they're not a bad trimmer now to the negative of this trimmer and it might only be my trimmer I maybe got a bad one out of the batch, right? Might just be mine. But during the other day of actually using these, I had a problem with the power button, right? Oh, it's coming on very, very nicely now, right? Maybe I put in a video of where I was having trouble with them actually cutting on. But they're actually going now, so I can't complain about that now boom then this is out the box but after having them on a charger all day the other day i did have problems with them the motor boom there it goes right as we speak and i was passing it up you see it's turned on boom so you see what i'm talking about the motor is very weak to me as soon as you i mean right now they sound good but you can even there, there see them, hear them dying a little bit, right? Soon as you put a little pressure on that part there, not a lot. You ain't even got to squeeze it. But once you put a little pressure on that bullseye, you run into a problem with the trimmer. Now, it could just be mine. Like I said, I could have got a bad one out of the batch. So I will be contact, contacting someone about that. But once you get past that, and as you see, they're on right now. Once you get past the switch problem and the pressure, these trimmers really do hit. Fresh out the box. They do hit. I'm going to give you a warning. I'm going to give you a heads up. If you are cutting and you are heavy handed, please do not use these fresh out the box. Because you will cut somebody. I promise you, you will cut somebody if you heavy handed. Me, I'm heavy handed. So putting them out, I try to be soft, but you're going to see that red mark on somebody. So I did draw them back just a, just a tad. These are some good blades. These are great blades. Whoever set these before get, sending them out, they did a good job. And if you're light handed and if the, the, the sharpness of blades cannot doesn't bother you and you can handle cutting at a at a soft tap tap i think you'll be good with these my only problem is that switch and that motor is very weak as you can see it's off i mean it's completely on but it's off it's a very weak motor as you can see they have the um charger port down there for for what they have in the box here but you can also probably use a Android charger, you know, as you can see. So I don't know what's the difference between the charging ports, but you can use a different charger. So see, little pressure and it cuts right off. Now, I don't know. Again, it could be just mine, but not a fan of that. But once you get get them together and you set that blade right, if you're light handed, fresh out the box, you're good. Fresh out the box, you will be fine with these. Four Moss Bullseye Trimmers. And again, nothing I am saying has nothing to do with 
buff the barber. I don't know how much he had in actually putting together these trimmers. So I would say these are kind of in the middle to me. I would say yes and no. Yes, if you want to try out a different trimmer, you maybe want to play with the tools that's coming out. This is a new company or newer company to me. So, yes, if you want to play around with different trimmers, no, if you are set in your trimmers. These would not be the gold FXs. The gold FXs, once you got those, they're a little heavyweight, so I like them. I love the weight of these. They're not too light. They're not too heavy. And you can hear that motor. You hear that? Versus this. World of a difference. But these hit the market. You had to have these. I had to learn to love these, but I have learned to love these. These are some good trimmers. Great trimmers. These are a 50-50. I mean, they'll be okay, but they're not really worth it. So that's my opinion. I've seen people on Instagram. I've seen people using them and they're, they're, they're loving them to the fullest extent. So it could just be me. So I'm not telling nobody you should or you shouldn't. I'm just saying in my opinion, I will hold off. Cuss by ready. I mean, I haven't seen them a few times, but they just do a whole bunch of running around. They don't. I don't know where it is. 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 I don't know